All right, let's come into our standing position mountain pose. Sink evenly into your feet, up through the crown. Get your core supporting your spine. So pull those ribs back and up, shoulders down. And just take a moment inhaling energy and awareness, exhaling stress and tension. Just allow yourself to focus on what your needs are today. And then inhaling, keep your shoulders down as you bring your arms out at shoulder level. Stretch those fingertips way out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Just gently push them toward the floor. Lift your heart and stretch your head back. Get a nice upper body back then going. And then exhale, pivoting at your hips. Come on all the way into that forward position as far as you want to go. Spread your toes. Bring your hands up a little further toward your head. And then <clears throat> just take a moment and breathe. Bend your knees slightly, lift your ribs, <clears throat> drop your sitting bones, and slowly work your way back up. <clears throat> lift your heart, stretch into the back bend one more time. Keep those shoulders going toward your waist. Inhale, upright, release your arms. <clears throat> Clear your throat, and take a moment to focus on how that spine is reacting, getting a little warmer. And again, arms at shoulder level, shoulders down, stretch those fingertips, hands to your heart, stretch the front, get those shoulders gently moving, and then clasp your hands the other way behind you as you lift your heart, spread your toes again, and stretch. Exhale on over, and again, lift those sitting bones, get out, legs stretch going a little bit more. Hands toward your head for that shoulder motion. And again, bending your knees slightly, starting at the bottom of your spine, working all the way into the back bend as you come up. Lift your heart, stretch your spine. And inhale to the top, release your arms, and just take a moment to feel what's going on. Shoulders back and down a couple of times. And then bring one arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands, get a good stretch started, and then lean to the side and push the foot you're leaning away from down. Take a moment to breathe. You can look slightly up toward the ceiling and make sure you're not leaning forward. And then inhale up. Exhale that arm down. Feel those ribs on the side that stretch, and we'll do the other side. Arm out, but shoulder down, palm up, hand above your shoulder. Push and stretch and lean to the side. And again, push the foot you're leaning away from down. Make sure you're not leaning forward, but pull that shoulder back, maybe even looking up slightly. Take a breath, maximize for your body on this side. And then inhale up and release. And again, circle the shoulders just to release them. Arms out to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, spread your toes, stretch your spine apart. So sitting bones down, base of the skull up, get the spine nice and open and twist. Take a breath as you turn to one side, lengthening, and pivot over in the twist. <clears throat> Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can, and just relax. Deepen, bringing your body toward your leg, but keep the weight on both feet. And then inhale, coming back all the way up in the twist, into that upper body back bend as you drop your shoulders, Pull your elbows back and lift your heart. Always gentle on that low back while you're twisting. Take a breath or two, stretching. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, right to the center and switch your arms. Shoulders down, spine stretching apart, and turn to the other side. Another breath, and exhale on over. 
So take a few breaths there in your forward position and lift your sitting bones. Just relax. And then on an inhalation, come on all the way back up. And again, upper body back, then point your elbows back and shoulders down. Lift your heart, stretch your head out away from you. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips up, extended mountain. Keep lengthening and swan dive over. Stretch it out and drop into ragdoll. And just take a moment there, lifting your sitting bones, stretching the back of your body completely. Bring your hands down and roll your body one more time, all the way to standing, getting that spine nicely warmed up. Stretch your spine apart and just gently swing side to side. Follow your hands from one side all the way around to the other. Keep stretching up through your crown. Just let that spine get a little extra work. And come back to the center, bring your hands to your heart, look at them as you bring them toward the ceiling, inhaling. Thumbs back behind you a little bit as you lift your heart, keep stretching the back of your neck. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over, and relax again, right on. Hands up under your knees on your shins, halfway up, stretch. Elbows, knees, spine straight. Just keep looking at the floor, stretch from the sitting bones back and the crown, the base of the skull forward. Shoulder blades are toward your waist. And then again, back into ragdoll. Palms together and inhale, bringing them to your heart and releasing into mountain pose. And bring one arm up and around to the back, backstroke and swimming motion, shoulders getting released. Just let them move as gently as you need. And then release, and again, just move the shoulders around. Bring one arm out in front, turn the fingertips toward the ceiling with the elbow bent, and pull that hand in the middle, right in front of your face. Bring the other arm out to the side, palm down. Swing it under and see if you can touch your palms. If you can't, just bring the backs of the hands together. And then pull your elbows down and in. Feel the shoulders, what they're doing. And then push your, your elbows slightly out and push your hands up just as much as it feels good. Take a moment and breathe. Spread your toes, and then the foot that's on, or the hand that's on top, arm that's on top, sink that foot into the floor and spread your toes. Get everything aligned for a balance. We're gonna go into eagle balance. So bend your knees slightly, lift your opposite foot, and bring it up and over toward the side or the back of your leg. See if you can find your balance while those fingers stay in front of your nose. And then unwind the feet, unwind the arms, and sink into mountain pose. So of course we have to do the other side. Bring your left arm out, bend it, fingertips to the ceiling, bring that hand right in front of your face. Other arm out to the side. Swing it under and see if you can touch the palms on this side. If not, remember, just do the back of your hands. Pull those thumbs in toward your nose. Pull the elbows down and in. Take a breath. Let everything relax. And then push the elbows slightly out. Bring your hands up. And again, we're going to sink slightly into the feet, bending the knees just slightly. I'm going to keep the left foot down, bring that right leg up, get everything aligned and balanced, bring the foot up and over and toward the back. Find your balance if you can. Breathe, relaxing as much as you can. And when you're ready to release, 
Bring that foot around and down. Sink evenly into your feet, unwinding your arms. Just let those shoulders release and relax once again. And again, as you get there, bring your arms at shoulder level, but keep the shoulders, shoulder legs toward your waist. Bend your fingertips together and elbows right at shoulder level. Take a moment to breathe. And pull the elbows slightly back, separating your fingertips. Bring them back together. Separate, bring your arms out and around and toward the back as far as they want to go. If you're good with those shoulders, you can bring them that far. Or if you're tight and tense, don't go so far. And then bring your fingertips back together. Elbows still at shoulder level. Fingertips coming apart and together. Separate way to the back and back together. Keep the shoulders down while you're doing it one more time. Elbows back, fingertips together, arms separating, pulling it back, and all the way to the front. Release back into mountain pose. And again, feel your shoulders. Circle them around. Bring the arms to the front, feeling the back stretch, and then open the heart, pulling the elbows back. And release your arms, crown to the ceiling. Hands to your heart. Look at your hands, inhale them all the way up. Thumbs to the back, lifting your heart. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over, ragdoll again. Hands up under your shins, stretch and straighten halfway up. And then bend your knees and come to the floor into child's pose, transitioning down. Hands, palms up. Forehead to the floor, shoulders relaxing down. Take a breath and relax. And then inhale, sit up, and just come into a cross legged seated position. Or if it's more comfortable, you could be in stacked position. Sitting bones behind you, core supporting, shoulders back and down. And just take a moment to relax. And of course, remembering we're creatures of habit, switch your other leg to the front or on top so that you've got a little bit more balance to your body. Working our necks, bring your chin into your throat center, get the neck back of your neck stretching a little bit. Just relax, shoulders down, spine straight, core supporting your spine, and then bringing your hands one at a time to the back of the hip. No pressure, just a little extra weight to give a stretch along that muscle. So remember, breathe, exhale. Just allow it to release. So take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your lips. And just do that a couple of times, letting that neck start stretching a little bit more as the muscles relax. And then just relaxing, bring your hands back down. Tip your chin back up. Feel the back of your neck a little more stretched. Lift your chin, but keep the base of the skull stretching out as you look slightly up. And move your jaw forward and back. And circle it around. Just relax. And then tip your head back upright. Bring an ear over toward one shoulder, both shoulders staying down. Beside your tipping toward, bring that hand up. Again, no pressure, just a little extra weight to stretch that opposite shoulder. And if you like a little extra stretch, you can bring that hand down to the floor. Take a breath. Just relax. So remember, the ear is coming over, but both shoulders are staying down. You're not trying to get the ear down to the shoulder. It'll never happen. Just relax through this muscle, letting it get a nice, gentle stretch. And then the hand on the floor releases. The one from your head comes down. And tip your head up. Feel the difference on the two sides. And of course, 
switch your legs around because, yeah, we need to do that occasionally. So once again, <clears throat> shoulders down, core supporting your spine, spine stretching up through the crown, and tip your ear to the other side. Take a moment to breathe and relax. Make sure everything is facing the front. And again, the side you're tipping toward hand comes up for a little extra weight, not pressure. Let it stretch, don't force it, don't push, just let it relax. Hand coming down for a little extra if you love it, or just be gentle. Again, take a moment to breathe, letting everything relax. And then the hand that's down, bring it back to your lap. The other one, bring it off your head and into your lap as you tip your head upright. Bring your chin into the throat center. Roll your chin over toward one shoulder and then up toward the ceiling. Look up, stretch out through the base of your skull behind you and then bring your chin toward the opposite shoulder and roll it into the middle of your heart. And again, to the same side, one more time, rolling it around, nice big circle. And as you come back to the center, just pause, relax your shoulders, make sure everything's nice and straight, and roll your chin the other direction to the shoulder, toward the ceiling, toward the opposite shoulder, rolling back down to the chest. And one more time, all the way around, getting a good circle going through that whole neck area. As you get back to the center, Straighten everything up, lift the base of your skull up, round toward the ceiling, turn your chin toward one shoulder, coming into that backing out of the driveway stretch. Relax, shoulders down, just turning as much as it wants. Crown to the ceiling, turn back to the center. Once more, lift and stretch and turn to the opposite side, just exhaling and relaxing as you go on that side. Only as far as it's comfortable, remember no stress or strain, just allowing things to happen. As you breathe and relax in that position, if you go a little incrementally further, that's fine, but don't force it. Keep stretching up and again, turn back to the center. And once more, we're going to bring the chin down toward the chest. Get a good stretch on the back of your neck. And then lifting your chin, keep stretching up and down as you come back upright. Coming onto your hands and knees, we're going to sink back onto the heels, coming into a kneeling position. Core active, spine straight, stretching up. Come up onto your fingertips, leaning forward, and tuck your toes under. And we're going to again come with it. Sitting bones right above your heels. Take your palms onto your bottoms of your heels and clasp them just gently. Stretch up. We're going into rabbit. It's a really intense back of your neck stretch. So be gentle. We've warmed it up, but don't go too far. Stretch up. And as you exhale, Bring your forehead down toward the floor, holding your heels, and then roll onto the top of your head, the crown, coming with your hips up toward the ceiling more. And then slide your knees toward your forehead, tucking in your chin and rolling way up onto the top of your head. So big stretch on the back of your neck. Just be gentle. Exhale any tension. Maximize for your body. Remember, this is a real forward crush, so it's hard to breathe. Do just as much as you can. Maybe slide a little further forward if that works. And then toes down on the floor. Slide your hips back to your heels. Chin in as you roll your body back up and face the front. 
Stretch out through the base of the skull as you look slightly up. Keep the shoulders down. Take a moment and breathe. And then slide off your heels. Bring your legs all the way to the front of the mat into staff position. <clears throat> Take a moment getting that core activated. Stretch up through the spine. Feel that neck all nice and warm. And we're going to just slowly use that core to come down just slightly toward the back. Pause. Roll a little bit further. Pause. Feel that core working. Come a little further. Pause. Come all the way onto your sacrum and your lower ribs and your shoulder blades. And finally, all the way to the floor. Bring your head side to side, get it relaxing. Shoulders coming down toward the floor. Take your hands, turn the palms down and bring the thumbs under your hips, under your buttocks, elbows slightly out to the sides and then pull the elbows into your waist. Press into your hands and forearms and elbows and lift your upper body up off the floor to look at your toes. Take a moment and stretch through the base of the skull. Look up toward the ceiling and lift your chin slightly and drop the top of your head with crown toward the floor. If it makes it to the floor, that's fine. If it doesn't, just stay propped up on your elbows. You can also put a pillow under your head if you'd like. We're lifting the heart. We're getting into a nice back bend from the sitting bones all the way to the top of your head. Lift your heart. Put the top of your head on the floor if that works, or just be gentle. If you've got your head down and you want to, you can release the hands from underneath you, bring them to prayer position, heels of the palms on your ribs, fingertips up toward the ceiling. Take a breath there, or not, keeping your hands down and elbows supporting you. So if you brought your hands up, bring them back down, and again, put the thumbs under you, elbows in, press into the forearms and elbows, and lift your head, chin toward your chest. And then roll your upper body down all the way to the floor, and let your head come down. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale any tension. Sitting bones toward your heels. Press your back down, bring your heels in toward your hips. And your knees up toward your chest. Wrap your arms around, tuck your chin, bring your forehead up toward your knees. Get a good stretch where we were back bending in the neck. And then bring your head back to the floor, arms out to T position, or arm twist. Hands, palms up or down, knees right above your hips. And just roll the knees over to one side, turn your head toward the opposite shoulder, opposite hand. Knees coming down for that low back twist just as far as they want to go. If they don't go, you can support with your toes or a pillow under your knees. And turning for that neck area twist, remember, be gentle as much as you need to there. Lots of neck work today. Shoulders relaxing, just release, allowing that twist in your middle back. Take a breath, just relaxing. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. It's situated to you, twist to the other side. Knees above your hips, just roll the knees over and turn your head the opposite direction. Keep those shoulders and shoulder blades down, nice middle back twist. And your head turning for your neck area. Letting those knees come as far toward the floor for the lower back twist as you like. Take a breath. Tension damage. And then heels toward your hips and pull roll onto your back. Bring your feet to the floor, slide the legs out, and bring your hands near your sides, turning palms up. Take a moment and breathe, just letting those shoulders relax down, hands wherever they fall outside your body. Bring your toes toward each other. Relax through the hips, pelvis and the legs, and let the legs relax. 
Scan through your body, especially the shoulders and neck, lots of work there. Exhale. Let your body soften and sink. Just allow your body to come into whatever release it needs. Taking a breath, scanning, exhaling, letting your body just grow heavy, sinking deep into that surface beneath you. As you exhale all the tension, just let your body go. As you release thoughts of your body, just let the other thoughts come into you, release as well. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, just let the thoughts drift in and out as easily as your breath. No need to think of the past, no need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts roll along with your breath just like the waves of the ocean flowing in and out without attention. And allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Focus inward. Find that peace within. Allow the peace to fill your body, fill your mind, fill your body with peace. If you have longer to keep relaxing today, just take as much time as you have an opportunity. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you again. Roll your head side to side, move your shoulders around. Get that whole body moving just gently, however feels right for you. And when it's ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones again toward your heels, drawing your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. When you're ready to release, bring your head down, rolling it side to side for that neck release. Feet to the floor as well. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.